Okay, I thought I'd do a quick tutorial on adding images to pages, and mostly because um, if you're coding it on your desktop computer or you're coding it in something online like CodeHS, um, what you have to do is just slightly different. So I want to show both, and that way, no matter how you're making your web page, you can do it. Um, so I've got this is the folder with my website in it, and um, this is the index page. So here's the source code, and I've um, previewed it over here in my browser. All you have to do is I've got it open in my text editor, and if I double click it, it opens in the browser. And um, I have an image in here that I'd like to include on my page. So here is right here is the image I want to use, uh, just an image I took on one of my camping trips this summer. And so the first thing I would do if I'm putting doing anything new on a page is just Google what you're trying to do. And we are editing HTML. And just Google HTML image, and let's see what we find. So I'm going to click the very first link, and I got an example. And so I'm just going to take that code, copy and paste it over, and look at it, and see what I can figure out. And so the first thing I can see here is that the source, the SRC, this must be just the name of the image file. So in which case, I have FHT start. And so I will dot JPG. So I'm just going to change that. And then let me refresh my page. Okay, and then it works. So the next question is, what is this stuff over here? Because there's nothing Italian about this picture. Um, so what I'm going to do is just show you what happens when I break the image file name. So I'll just slip a space in there. So now the file name is wrong. And when I refresh, now the image doesn't show up. So this is the text that shows up when, uh, if for some reason the image doesn't load. And this is also real important for accessibility reasons. So if somebody's using a screen reader to access your site, um, perhaps because of some vision impairment, um, then they can read this text instead. Um, it also could be helpful for things like Google and stuff like that to decide what your image is. So uh, I'm just going to rename this. A little description of what my picture was, the start of the Foothills Trail. And now if the image doesn't show up for some reason, I've got some text there at least explaining what is missing. So let me fix that. All right. So this is simple enough. Um, but now let's go over to Code HS. And so here, what I did is I have this is the exact same line of code um, that I had in my text editor. And I've got it copied over here. And now I need to reference an image. And if I run this, Obviously, this doesn't work because this image isn't uploaded to Code HS anywhere. Um, so what I'm going to do is go to New, and I'm going to go to Upload. And I'm going to go pick that file and upload it. OK. And it looks kind of like they're in a folder over here next to each other. Um, but if I save it and run it, you can see the image doesn't actually show up. So on my local computer, the, the syntax was simple because the image was right next to the website, the HTML page itself. And here it looks like they are, but just the way CodeHS works, they're actually not. So I'm going to right click on this image and open it in a new tab. And what I see is it's in an uploads folder with this long identifier at the end of it on the code HS website. It's not actually even called FHT start.jpg. So what I'm going to do is right so I, so I opened up the image in a new tab and I'll copy that link right there. We could also just right click on the image and go copy image address and I'll paste this URL in there oops and I'll save. And now when I run it, right, my image should show up. All right, so I hope that's helpful for anybody struggling to get images on your page.